Hello, I'm State Senator Josh McCoon. I represent Georgia's 29th Senatorial District, which includes Muskogee, Harris, Troop, and Meriwether Counties. I'm coming to you from the Coverdell Legislative Office Building, where I will begin a series of video updates to tell you more about the 2014 legislative session. Uh, next week, January 13th, we will begin our legislative session for the 2014 year. And one of the number one issues that, are, that will be facing the state coming up has to do with economic development, and specifically the expansion of the Savannah Harbor. Uh, what we understand is that in the Panama Canal area that the uh, post-Panamax ships will start coming through because of the deepening of the canal. And so we want the Savannah Harbor to be ready to take on these post-Panamax ships which will mean economic development and prosperity, not just for the Port of Savannah, but for all the industries across our state that rely on port traffic. And so I look forward to supporting the governor as we uh, dedicate additional funding to this very important project. Of course, many of you know that I have tried to lead the fight here in the state on ethics and ethics reform. One of the most important things I think facing uh, our state ethics commission is a lack of funding. Uh, right now, uh, the Ethics Commission is subject to the same appropriations process as the rest of state government. And quite frankly, I think it's wrong for those of us who are regulated by the Commission to be determining the appropriate level of funding. That's why I introduced Senate Resolution 7, which would dedicate funding to the Commission and allow us to uh, provide funding year over year for the Commission that they can rely on to do the very important job they're required of as a watchdog of state government. Now what about tax policy? I think most people, most small business folks around the district I talk to, uh, this is their number one issue. Well I pre-filed before the 2013 session Senate Resolution 8, which would gradually eliminate Georgia's income tax. As you know, Georgia has a 6% income tax and we've seen our neighboring states and states throughout the South look at getting rid of their income tax or substantially reducing their income tax. Most recently, North Carolina, which has reduced their top rate to below Georgia's 6%. So what Senate Res Resolution 8 would do is it would place a ballot uh, initiative uh, on your November 2014 ballot that would allow you to vote to eliminate the state income tax. And what would happen is starting in the year 2016, the income tax would reduce by half of 1% for 12 years until we phase out, giving us a gradual phase out that would provide us with opportunity to replace the revenue that would be lost from the state income tax. In my view, elimination of the state income tax is the single most significant thing state government can do to grow jobs and improve our economy. Now, during the interim of this session, uh, between uh, our adjournment back in March of 2013 and today, uh, I've been involved in some study committees. One of those study committees had to do with Medicaid funding and Medicaid reform. Uh, I believe strongly that we need to take the aged, blind, and disabled population in our state Medicaid program and place them into managed care, as Florida and other states have done. There are literally hundreds of millions of dollars of potential savings if we do this. Uh, I think we also need to look at a model that Indiana has provided us uh, where there's greater personal responsibility for Medicaid enrollees to take care of their own health care to provide some small degree of financial responsibility uh, to take care of themselves. And I believe if we do that, we can keep Medicaid sustainable fiscally, uh, we can make sure folks are covered, uh, and we can make sure providers are continued to able to take Medicaid patients. Another big issue we'll be facing this year has to do with autism. Of course, as many of you know, uh, one in 88 children today are being diagnosed with autism, somewhere on the autism spectrum. And uh, Georgia is a minority uh, of states, is in with a minority of states, that do not mandate health insurance for autism. And so what happens oftentimes, parents uh, are not sure what's happening with their child. They know there's a developmental issue. The child is diagnosed on the autism spectrum and then they are promptly notified that there's not coverage to take care of their child's needs. And what I've learned over the last year is that when there is direct medical intervention early, uh, it can have a dramatic impact on that child's development. And so that's why I'm standing with State Senator John Albers to support Ava's law. One of the other study committees we had over the interim that I chaired 
was a study committee having to do with expungement reform and record restriction. And let me be clear about this. We have in our state uh, a number of folks who have made one mistake. They've committed one nonviolent criminal offense. And that criminal offense, by virtue of it being a felony, has essentially become a scarlet letter that they are wearing for the duration of their lifetime. Uh, it is extremely difficult for people with a felony background uh, to get decent employment and to rebuild their lives following incarceration or following their probation. And so uh, our study committee has come up with a number of recommendations, the bottom line of which is this. If we are expecting uh, people who have committed crimes to become productive members of society, we need to give them the tools to climb the ladder to economic success. And we can do that with common sense expungement reform that allows them to rebuild and move on with their lives and become productive members of our society. And I look forward to working with the governor uh, on these barriers to reentry. Uh, veterans, of course, veterans is a very important uh, part of our community uh, statewide and in the 29th Senatorial District. Specifically, I think a proposal from my fellow state senator Ed Harbison, who represents uh, part of Muskogee County as well, is to take certain lottery proceeds to fund veterans programs. Um, and I think that this is a very interesting proposal. It's one that warrants further study. And I look forward to working with Senator Harbison in the upcoming session on this issue. Of course, there are many issues that we're going to be facing next year. Uh, and I look forward to uh, having input from you, uh, the voter and uh, constituents of District 29. You can reach me uh, at my website, joshmccoon.com. You can also reach me at my Senate office. The number there is 404-463-3931. I just want to close by saying it is a tremendous privilege to serve you, the citizens of State Senate District 29, and I look forward to coming back to you every week while we're in session with updates about what's happening at your General Assembly. Thank you.